welcome back to City Skylines. In this episode, I'm going to work on reworking this highway that goes through the city. So instead of it cutting directly through the city, I'm going to have it turn up at the uh, sort of edge of the city where it starts to really um, like peter out in terms of density. And it's really now just neighborhoods of housing. So... Uh, This highway is going to run along the base of this hill and run around to this river's edge and actually cross the river. Um, And it's going to run along the other side of this river because this river is actually going to end up being a pretty small river. So I want to replicate something similar to the viaduct that is in Springfield, Massachusetts, where the highway which i believe is 93 or 92 something like that it um it runs right along the river which completely disconnects the city from the river which is actually kind of not really good but um in this case it doesn't really matter because there's no city there there's just going to be a hill so I think it's fine if we have a highway running along the river here because it's mainly just going to be used to transport people and that hill isn't really going to be occupied just because of its inconvenience uh, in terms of connecting to the rest of the city. So there isn't going to be too much in terms of high scale density along that hill, but there probably will be a neighborhood eventually. Now I've moved over back towards where we've been working for the most part, which is over by where the new hospital is going to be and the industry buildings are. So uh, this area is going to be a pretty important area of the city because of the industry buildings and the companies that are going to be here. These are where the staple companies that have been in the city for generations are going to be located. So uh, these companies are important when it comes to the success of Uh, economically of the city so they are the large exporters of products in the cities or they're large importers of products either way the city's economy sort of depends on these companies being there and if, if you live in a large city or maybe not a large city but any kind of city you can kind of think of the staple companies that were founded and stayed in your city and how much they're dependent on them i want to kind of maybe create my own brands or work with some brands in real life to create some backstories to some heavily uh, dependent brands that uh, are uh, influential in the economy of Byerwood because I want to start giving Byerwood more life now that we can because there's actually buildings, there's actually cars, there's people. So Byerwood can now start coming to life, which is nice. But I'm just working right now and placing more of these uh, warehouses and distribution facilities just because, once again, this is the type of area they would be at, close to the rail yard. But I also wanted to try to get a a good sense of connection between this uh, area and the housing because there is a neighborhood right across this main road. So I don't want it to be too, uh, too much industrial. Right here, I'm working on a building that's most likely going to change. It's just working with some of the in-game commercial assets from a DLC, and I wanted to try to make something work, but it didn't really end up coming out how I thought it was, uh, thought it would, but I just left it for the time being because it looks all right. Placing down the Woolworth store, this is a pretty nice asset. I don't know if I'll leave it here because it's because of its location. It's kind of weird, but I might. So I'm just placing more of the buildings that are going to be going around the hotel. Um, You see me trying out a few buildings that kind of look ridiculous, but I want uh, some buildings to be going around. I don't know why I said hotel. I meant to say hospital. The hospital is going to be a pretty important area. And if you know, uh, like UMass Memorial in Worcester, Massachusetts, there's hotels around the hospital. There's places to eat. Uh, The hospital is an economic uh, area, which is kind of depressing when you think about it because uh, hospitals don't really have a kind of positive connotation. But you you need to have those kind of um, things there for the people that are going to be at the hospital for long periods of time or at hospital at at all. So uh, I want to try to capture that uh, realism. So. 
Um, in the next episodes, we're going to be working towards making the hospital area, and I'm really excited for it. But for now, uh, take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.